In this tutorial, we dive deep into armatures and drivers, and we create this simple sliding door effect uh, that works based on influence. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Right, step number one, select your default cube, press X, delete numpad one to be in front orthographic view, shift A, click on armature. Once you've got armature selected, press tab, click over here or press tab and go into edit mode. Once you're in edit mode, select everything, press shift D, X, negative two, G, Z, two. Select the, the spurn again, shift D, X, two, click, G, Z, two, click. Then press tab, go into pose mode, or if that doesn't work, click here and choose pose mode, tab to go into pose mode. Select this over here. Before we move on, let's go to our object data properties, click on viewport display, and make sure we can see the, the names of these bones. Now, double click this bone here, then pr with, press F2, and let's rename this main bone. main bone there we go now we're going to select bone one shift select main bone control shift c copy location go to your uh, uh, bone constraint properties and we could click on the disable constraint so we can see our main bone select the bone two shift select the main bone Control shift C, copy location. And we can, for the time being, disable there as well so we can see it. The next thing we wanna do is select your main bone, go to your bone properties, go to your custom properties and add. Once you've added, you'll see that here, yeah, um, if you press N, this will appear in your properties menu over here, we've got a new custom property. We wanna right click on this and say, copy as new driver. Once you've done that, uh, we can go back to our bone constraint properties and we can, for example, choose this bottom influence here and right click and we can say add driver. And just like that, if we enable this and we mess with the influence, we can see it work. And because the influence of this one is one, when we turn this on again and enable it, we will see it go in a nice, neat, straight line, which is super useful the next thing we want to do is just create a wall and a door i guess like a sliding door effect so we can press shift well we can press tab well let's go back into your object mode let's make this also 0 0.5 for the time being this looks neater shift a mesh and in this example i will use a cube i guess numpad 7 I'm gonna press S and Y and just bring this down to 0 0.1. Numpad one to be in front orthographic view. And this is actually big enough, I feel. Next thing we wanna do is press Shift A, mesh, and we're gonna use a cube again, numpad seven. S Y zero point one G and then we're gonna press t -t 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 um, X, bring it to the side here. And we're, we're gonna press G Y and get it in like this. Let's zoom in. G Y shift once you've got this wall over here next thing you want to do is press tab go into edit mode and uh, we're going to just press shift d y and we're going to bring it to the other side And that should work. Then we press tab to go into object mode. And by the way, you can always click over here if your setup is different. And if that's object one, all we have to do is press shift D. 
x and we can chuck the next one you know, I guess somewhere over here numpad one we might need to make this object here so just to be safe I'm gonna press s x and just make it a bit wider so I, I can be sure it will meet both ends most likely right now with that selected uh, now we just need to parent this and the main part of our animation is done so we want to select this wall shift select bone o o well all of this i guess and then click go to pose mode i'm going to press tab and go to pose mode select bone 1 control p and bone the next one is tab object mode select this side here shift select the armature tab go into pose mode select this bone and press control p and select bone again once again go into object mode select this middle piece here shift select the armature that you have press tab to go into pose mode and select this middle bone here and press control p bone and we can press numpad one and we can watch this work perfectly as a nice sliding door if you enjoyed this tutorial please don't forget to like and subscribe